if you and your team has added a lot of product related issues into the MS Excel and now you want to add all those issues into the Jira software then this video is for you because here I am going to teach you how to create Jira issues from MS Excel automatically so what will happen every time you add a new issue into the MS Excel the same issue will be created into the Jira software that too automatically so if you also want to set this automation for yourself come with me and I will show you everything step by step so this is my excel sheet and this is the jira software and in order to automatically add these issues into the jira i will have to first integrate both the application and i am going to do that with the public connect which is an integration and automation software and i am an existing user so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in public connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation now after reaching out to the dashboard firstly click on this view button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted the name as create jira issues from ms excel automatically okay now simply click on create and after that you will notice two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this try to understand with an example let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever any new issue is added into the ms excel application then automatically add those issues into the jira software application okay so i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is firstly i am going to connect excel with the Pabli Connect and then I'm going to connect to Pabli Connect with the Jira software okay so this is how I am going to automate this process so firstly I will select the trigger even that is whenever any new row is added into the sheet into this worksheet this automation should trigger okay so I have selected the same now simply click on connect then click on add new connection click on connect with Microsoft Excel and then you'll have to provide the access of your Excel account okay well I have provided did this access multiple times so i am going with the existing connection if you have already connected excel with the pabli connect earlier you can also go with the existing connection and here you can notice because we are connected whatever the workbooks i have created into my excel account have started visible here so i am going to select which workbook basically this new issues or task workbook okay so let me search for the same that is new issues or task okay here you can notice the workbook and in the sheet i have a single sheet that is sheet one which will be selected automatically and now i will click on this button save and send test request and as soon as i click on this button you will notice that pabli connect will immediately capture all the excel sheet data okay so here you can notice the response is received and we have the summary of the issue we have the description of the issue we even have the due date of the task and we even have the priority okay so the row number three data has been captured because this was the most recent data i have added and here you can see we have the similar data okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between excel and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you add the new data into your excel sheet the same data will be captured via public connect but in every eight hours because the trigger here is the polling based which will check for the new data in every eight hours and after that we are going to send that data to jira software basically i'm going to create an issue into the jira software okay so i will select the action event as create issue and just like we have connected excel and public connect now i'm going to connect this jira and public connect okay so i have clicked on that connect button clicking on add a new click connection i'm sorry for that clicking on connect with the jira software and then you'll have to provide the access of your jira software okay i'm already logged in into the jira application so it is asking me for the permission directly okay so let me click on this accept and this is how jira software will be also connected with the public connect very easily okay so here you can notice authorization is successful 
and here you can see it is connected now it is showing me the project okay so whatever the projects i have into my jira software have started visible here okay so i want to create the issues in which project into this demo service project okay so that is why i am going to select the same that is demo service project let me show you the same here into the jira software as well okay so i have two project demo service project and connect app okay so i have selected this particular project that is demo service this project now it is going to ask you several other details and this data these details we have already captured from our excel sheet to pabli connect okay so let me show you the response this is the response and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy the above data and paste it here i am going to map the data one by one okay so mapping is very simple but before that let me select the issue type that is here i would like to create a service request so i have selected the same now it is asking for the summary so as i have told you we are going to map the data okay so mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down now search for that data that is the summary okay so i have mapped the summary of the issue now you must be thinking that what is this mapping so whatever the details i am providing here with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so i am repeating this again whatever the detail you are going to map here okay so here you can notice it has provided a drop down okay so now it is your choice whether you would like to select the priority from the drop down but just in case if you will select any priority from the drop down what will happen for every single issue the priority will be same yes whatever the data you are going to provide here manually is going to remain same and whatever the data you are providing with the help of mapping will be replaced automatically leave when this automation will work in real time so that is why i have firstly firstly enabled the mapping button and then i am going to map the priority from my excel sheet data okay and this is how based on the excel sheet response my priority will be replaced automatically so i think i have provided all the important details now i am going to simply provide this due date okay wait for that all right so let me also map the due date the last important thing All right so I think I have mapped all the important data make sure that you provide the date into this specific format only so I think I have provided all the important data now I am going to directly clicking on this button and you will see that how the same issue will be created into this project okay so let me first to open the project that is demo service project okay clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to be received and once the response is received well it is saying the errors priority selected is invalid okay? Okay, so I'll have to check what is wrong with this. So firstly, I'm going to disable this mapping button once again. Okay, so in the priority case, we have the values as this. But when I am enabling the mapping button, we have the priority into the form of one, two, three. But I have provided the priority value into the form of text. Okay, so I'll have to make sure that if I am mapping the value for the priority, I'll have to provide it in the form of number. Okay, so again, I am disabling it. and for the high it has the value as 2 okay and for the low i am really not sure but how about i select this tree and let us click on this button okay currently i have provided this priority value manually just to check whether this automation will work on providing the value into the form of number All right so let us click on this button once again and this time i am really expecting that the issue will be created into the jira Well yes you can see the response is received let us go back to the jira software and let me first refresh my dashboard and here you can notice that the same issue has been created automatically in the summary it is saying that new integration request from the customer let us check for the description and here you can notice that we have the same description where is the due date all right here you can notice the due date is also same the priority is also same that is medium okay. so this is how now onwards you can directly import all your excel sheet data basically all the issues into the jira software automatically okay doesn't matter you and your team are adding what kind 
kind of issues here as soon as you will do that the details will be updated automatically into the jira software button every 8 hours yes just in case if you are unable to see the issues you'll have to wait patiently for at least 8 hours because as i have told you initially the trigger here is the polling base which will check for the new data in every 8 hours but after that for sure your issues will be updated automatically with the Pabli Connect okay so in order to automate this process simply create this automation inside Pabli Connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account I will also attach the link of my automation into the description box Simply click on this link, sign up into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access this workflow inside your Pabli Connect account that too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.